When creating your application, you can choose to build either a single currency or a multi-currency application. If you decide to work with multiple currencies, you can build either a standard or a simplified multi-currency application. Both types of multi-currency application allow currency conversions to be performed quickly and easily. However, the two options perform the process in different ways. Standard multi-currency applications add two standard dimensions to facilitate currency conversion. A currency dimension, which stores the actual currencies themselves, and a HSP underscore rates dimension, which is a hidden dimension used to store exchange rates. When building the entity dimension, each entity is assigned a default currency, which is used for capturing data. When loading or entering data, values are entered against the local member of the currency dimension. For the currency conversion process, the data held against local is treated as being in the default currency of the entity. These values can then be converted to any of the designated reporting currencies using the average, end of period or historical rates stored in the HSP rates dimension as appropriate. Simplified multi-currency applications achieve similar results using a less complex model. These applications add a single additional standard dimension which is used to capture currencies. Exchange rates are then stored in the accounts dimension. As this is a simpler method of handling currency conversions, there is no association between entities and currencies, and there's no local member of the currency dimension against which values are entered. Instead, values are entered against the specific currency that is required on a case-by-case -case basis. These values, as with standard multi-currency applications, can then be converted to any reporting currencies as required. Note that only average and end of period rates are available when using this method. Regardless of the multi-currency option selected, it is necessary to choose a default currency for the application. Exchange rates are loaded to the application for every other currency with respect to this default currency. Additionally, when setting up the application, you must select which currencies will be made available as reporting currencies. These are the currencies that can be converted to. The converted currency values are stored so that they can be reviewed again later and are read-only, preventing changes from being made. To update the converted values, the original input values should be changed and the conversion process should be run again. To convert from a local input currency to a reporting currency, values are triangulated through the default currency if no direct rate is available. This minimizes the number of rates that need to be stored in the system. An example of triangulation is shown here. If the application default currency is US dollars, rates will be loaded for all other currencies with respect to US dollars. If you then had some input data entered in euros that you wanted to report on in pounds sterling, the euro value would first be converted to US dollars and then converted from US dollars to GBP.